Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I will show you even more features in Android 15 Beta 3 that I didn't spot in my previous video. And I will also share my experience with the performance and battery after using it for a while. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the wallpaper and the style app. After installing Android 15 Beta 3, when I try to create a new AI wallpaper and then tap on the tick button, now I have the option to share the generated image with others. And when I tap on it, it shows the share sheet, but unfortunately it doesn't do anything because the feature seems to be broken at least for now. But if Google implemented this feature in the stable version of Android 15, that will be really impressive. And because of this new change after opening the AI wallpapers right after installing the update, I got this brand new disclaimer saying that you can use this tool to generate images for your personal use, but not for business purposes. And that's also an indication that this feature might make its way to the final release. Another hidden change in this update is the new haptic feedback when you trigger circle to search. Now it gives you a much shorter and subtle haptic feedback. It feels like a tick similar to the one you get when you turn a toggle on or off and instead of the longer haptic feedback we used to have. Another small visual tweak is the brand new system icon for Android 15. Here is how it looks in beta 3 and for reference this is the one we used to have in the previous versions. Now let's talk about the notifications. In my previous video, I showed you a new animation for the pop-up banners when you receive a new notification, but Google also updated the animations inside the notifications shape. So let me show you a couple of examples. As you see here, when I expand or collapse, it feels like a two-stage animation when compared to the previous versions. For example, when I expand this one, you don't see the same behavior like on Android 15 beta 3. And it also looks different when you dismiss any of these notifications. In Android 15, it's a little bit smoother when compared to the previous versions. One last change I'm going to show you in this video. If you have any of the accessibility shortcuts activated and then try to drag it, you will see two drop targets at the bottom instead of only one. Previously, we used to have that dismiss option only, but now we got this brand new edit drop target. And when you drag it over this one, it will take you right away to the accessibility menu shortcut settings page. So that's it when it comes to the hidden features in Android 15 beta 3. Now let's talk about my experience with the performance and battery after using it for a while. Starting with the performance, I'm really impressed by how snappy and responsive is my Pixel 8 Pro after installing beta 3, either in scrolling, opening, closing apps, or anything in between. Also, the thermal management seems to be better. I did a Geekbench score and I got 1727 for the single core and 4047 for the multi core. I usually get lower numbers on the stable version. It averages between 36 to 3800 for the multi core and between 15 to 1600 for the single core. And I think this better performance comes from the better thermal management. When it comes to the battery life, I found it to be much better as well. So let me show you my current usage. I have four hours and 23 minutes of screen on time with 63% battery remaining, which is something new to me on the Pixel 8 Pro. And as you see here, I used WhatsApp, Geekbench, Photos, uh, Facebook, YouTube, Keep Notes, and so on. I used the phone only on Wi-Fi, no cellular data, but these numbers are still better than the stable version. Moving to the bugs, I didn't spot any minor or major bugs so far. Everything works exactly as expected and it's even better than the stable version of Android 14. But keep in mind that my experience is only based on this specific model. So if you have the Pixel 8 Pro, this build is definitely good enough for your daily driver if you want to try the new features of Android 15. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are the hidden features I wanted to show you in Android 15 Beta 3. Please let me know in the comments if you spotted even more. But for now, thanks much for watching and see you in the next video.